What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. This is a thank you slash shout out video to James Tiny Vest. Okay, not Tiny Vest, he's not wearing a Tiny Vest. James Tiny, I think his, his, mid, like his nickname is Vest. The uh, Gorilla with a Cause. Gorilla spelled U-G-U-I, like Gorilla as in like Gorilla Tactics. Gorilla with a Cause. Now, I just saw the video. It was in the FitMisc um, forum. And he actually, this is not the first video that he's addressed me personally on. I know it sounds like, oh, Jerry, what is he going to say? <laughs> no, it's a cool thing, guys. James is a big power lifter or I think he's very power lifting looking, but he's thick. He's lean. He's got a lot of cool things to say. And I think he's breaking down a lot of the stereotypes on the big meatheads that um, I wish more people would do. You know, he shows his emotions. He speaks from the heart. He speaks the truth. He tries to put out good information, but... He is just who he is, okay? And, like, who's that sound like? You know what I mean? That sounds a lot like me, doesn't it? So this is probably why we are on the same level because both of us just don't give a fuck and we're just ourselves. But this is the second time he's reached out, a third time or something like that, with an actual video on his channel. It's James Tiny Vest. That's the channel. I should link it down below so you guys know. And um, he put out a uh, condolences to my dad. To me for my dad. And um, kind of... Spoke a little bit about, you know, losing someone himself. And it was his grandmother, I believe, and said, you know, he's still not over it. And, you know, he got my attention specifically because he was being truthful. He was showing emotion. He was doing it publicly, which a lot of people don't do. A lot of people just want you to believe how big and tough and strong they are. And then they'll cry behind closed doors. And I say bullshit on that. You know what I mean? I call fucking bullshit all day long. If you're that type of person that thinks you're so fucking hardcore that you don't cry, fuck you. You're either a sociopath or a fucking loser liar. That's what I think, you know. So, by him opening up, you know, I'm hoping that more people will see that. They'll see me. There's other people that do it. And say it's okay to open up. It's okay to talk about things. It's okay to fucking have feelings. You don't have to be the fucking muscle head all the time. You know, being a muscle head is a small piece of who you are, who he is, who I am. It's a small piece. There's a lot more to us and we get lost in that, I think. And we forget about a lot of that stuff. Like everything that I used to do when I was a kid. Drawing, painting, skateboarding, fucking playing the guitar. All that shit. Took a backseat to bodybuilding when I did it. Because bodybuilders don't do that. Bodybuilders don't roller skate. They don't dance. They don't play mini golf. They don't do any of that shit, right? It's not fucking cool. You gotta fucking sit there and look as pumped as you can all the time. Or you look like a fucking skinny little loser, right? I mean, that's, that's how it goes, right? And really, it just kind of makes you a one-sided, one-dimensional fucking person that... It's almost impossible for anyone to fucking relate to than another bodybuilder. Let's face facts. And, you know, at this point in my life, and I'm sure James' life too, is we don't want to relate to only bodybuilders. We realize bodybuilding is a small piece of our lives, and there's a ton of shit other, out there, other things out there in the world that are much more fucking interesting and fun that we can occupy our time with other than worrying about how thick we look in a shirt so we can impress the next person at the fucking mall. You know what I mean? Or we stand the right way when we're standing in line so we look tough. You know what I mean? I think those days are long behind us both. And um, I just want to say to James, thank you for the video or the videos, like the ones in the past too that I saw. Um, but that video especially really spoke to me because you literally put it out on the line and you don't give a fuck what anybody says because you just put it out there and said, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I'm thinking. And um, well, then you made fun of that other guy too. I don't say his name because I don't like to draw attention to him, but you made fun of the other guy too for me, which is kind of funny, which I like obviously. But, uh, <laughs> but um, thank you, James. I appreciate that very much. And Hoping that we can do some kind of collab together at some time. And, you know, I mean, hopefully we'll be in the same place at the same time somewhere. Whether it's like the Olympia, the Arnold, like some expo or some show or something. Or who the fuck knows. Maybe I'll just wind up being in your neck of the woods or your are mine or whatever. We'll figure it out hopefully and get it done. But um, I just want to publicly thank you very much for the, uh, the condolences. And um, actually thank everybody out there for the condolences, the messages, the emails. I mean, it's so overwhelming that, um, you know, I don't even know what to say. We had... People that were fans, or I don't want to say fans, but followers, subscribers, whatever you want to say, come to my dad's funeral. Uh, my mom went to CVS today, <laughs> of all places, and the guy's like, are you Jerry Ward's mom? And she was like, what the fuck? She's like, yeah. He's like, you know, I'm really sorry about your husband. You know, like, the people that are just reaching out to me and my family, people, that, you know, reaching out to my mom on Facebook, and you know, it's overwhelming. It's super overwhelming to know that people actually care. And I think that the reason why you reach out is because each and every one of you that have reached out either has had something like this happen to you or someone that you care about, that you've been through it with them, or they've been through it, and you understand and you relate and you don't want anybody to go through what you went through. You just don't. 
You know, I wish nobody has to go through what I'm going through right now, right now. not even my worst enemy. Not even that guy out in Texas who wants to shoot everybody. I, I don't wish this on anyone, you know, to go through this. But the um, fact of the matter is people do, and it's reality. And um, thank you for all the support. So, BioStreetTraining at gmail.com. Leave comments down below. But don't fight. www.biostreetraining.com is a blog. So thank you, James Tiny Vest Bicep, and we're out.